How's everyone doing? Good, Jake. Hope you're well, man. Uh, j- just wondering your, your thoughts on what's the key to covering the middle of the field? Because obviously teams are attacking you guys a little bit there. Sorry, what? I, I said, what's the key to you guys covering the middle of the field and, and pass coverage? Because teams seem to be attacking that a little bit. Um, I mean, I can't really give you any specifics, to be honest with you. It's uh, for a variety of different things. Uh, we'll get it cleaned up. And uh, just what do you think of how Roderick Perry and Johnny Newton are playing in front of you right now? Real good players. They've taken up a, uh, taking up gaps and playing really well for us, and they're uh, they're big time players for sure. Thanks, Jake. Hey, Jake. Yeah, I know I asked you about Owen on Saturday, but when he, you've got a defensive end having a game like that, how does that change what the rest of the defense is able to do behind him? Just you know, just gets the, uh, an effective pass rusher gets the ball out quicker every time, um, and it. Uh, makes uh makes the coverage in a lot easier and especially in zones and different things like that so it it definitely makes an impact throughout the entire d all right thank you hey jake sorry i'm turning on my video here uh minnesota what do you know about them for this year they obviously have the tanner morgan rashad bateman connection and uh, a decent running back what's the challenge with them uh, I mean, they're big up front. Um, they do a good job with their RPO game and their uh, check with me offense that Fleck runs. And uh, I mean, it's not, they don't do a ton of complicated stuff, not a ton of gap scheme. So uh, we're prepared for them and we're going to be excited for it. And if you can't share on this, I understand, but just uh, after what we saw happen to you in Wisconsin, I think we we're all grateful and a little bit surprised you weren't in concussion or anything because it looked like. You had your bell rung there a little bit, so you're yeah. okay. Is there anything you can share about what happened? I mean, I just got caught under the uh, – I got caught on the chin. It was kind of a fluke hit. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you guys saw the rest from there, right? So that's kind of what happened. Put me through concussion protocol and everything went smoothly, so I was able to play Saturday. Good. Thanks. Um, Lovey said earlier that when you're on the field, the defense competes much better. Just how does it feel that he has a ton of confidence in you? I mean, it's great. Um, having a guy like Coach Smith supporting you is uh, something you can't uh, really put words behind. But um, just uh, the unwavering support is definitely mutual. And that's something that I'll follow him into just about any fight we got to go into uh, on Saturdays. So. Jake, uh, when you see these many guys that are out and you know as a group because you hang out with them and you're, you're with them so often that they didn't do anything wrong, they just got outlucked, you know, this isn't an injury kind of thing. What's the level of frustration in you guys, like in your building right now, just to go like, these guys didn't do anything wrong and they can't play, you know, that's... that's I mean, I, I, I think ahead. the biggest frustration starts with uh, the guys that are exactly like they didn't do anything wrong, the guys that kind of got outlucked and they... Uh, the guys, some of the guys don't even have the, uh, the virus, and it's uh, it's kind of just the way it rolls. And I think a level they're they're the most frustrated, and then it comes to the rest of the team where we're frustrated that we can't have our guys out there and our our best uh, our best eleven on the field at any moment. So um, it's definitely frustrating. But um, you know, I mean, it is. It, I, you said it's not injury, but I mean, kind of have to look at it like that, and it's the next man up. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. Jake, how are you spending election day? You guys are off. What were you doing? I'm sorry. What'd you say? How are you spending election day? You guys have the day off. What are you going to be doing? Um, I've, I've already voted, so I'll, uh, I, I mean, I'll take my time and probably watch a little bit more Minnesota tape and prepare for Saturday. So not really taking it off, right? You're going to, you're going to keep working. Yeah, exactly. You figure most of the guys will do some version of that, what you're doing? Yeah, most, I think um, that'll be something you see from just about everyone on our team. Great. Thanks, Jake. Mm-hmm. Jake, coming off of that uh, voting and just like what that means to you right now in this climate and your team and what your teammates and you guys have talked about. 
Sorry, can you repeat the first part? I didn't hear the first part. Yeah, just going off like the voting question, even though you have already voted, just kind of what that meant to you, especially to this team, with the climate uh, we're in right now, and just what you guys have talked about. I, honestly, I just think it's important to, um, like, that we all have a civil duty to to vote and share and share our opinion on who we think is needs to be the president, and I think that's important. And um, uh, the more people who we get to vote, the better understand we, what the country really wants, right? So that's that's kind of what I would say it means to me. And also, um, we were asking uh, Coach Smith about Karan and how there was a moment last game where he came over to pump up the defense and was talking to you guys. And there was a little bit of confusion because he kind of missed going in. I was just curious, then your take, when you have someone stepping in at a time like that, who doesn't normally play and kind of taking that leadership role on immediately, what the feeling is like when Karan's out there and just what you thought about him last week. I think he definitely provided a big spark for our offense. Um, and then he's able to be loud and um, have that personality where he's uh, stepping up and quarterbacks kind of got to be a leader on uh whether they are a captain or whether whatever they may be, um, they kind of do have to be at the leader of the offense. And I think he was, he did a solid job giving us a spark for us. Um, I mean, obviously we all have things we got to clean up. So we're um, working through that. Nick, have you voted before? Or is this the first election that you're voting in? Um, I, honestly, I didn't vote the, uh, the, I don't, I don't, honestly, I might not have been eligible. I can't even remember, but um, this is the first election I voted in. Yes. Yeah. How does it feel to be a first time voter with this kind of election that we have going on this year? Um, honestly, I, I, I don't feel too much different. Um, I, I think it's important. I just think it's something that we should all do though. And, and that's kind of been made very aware to me um, throughout the past couple months, especially um with all the social injustice going on in america right now awesome thank you awesome thank you thank you guys